What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Asus ROG Ally, which is a handheld gaming PC akin to something like a Steam Deck, except this will run Windows 11 and it won't have as many roadblocks or things you'll have to figure out in terms of getting things installed, such as different gaming stores or specific games maybe not working. This should have a lot more compatibility without having to jump through as many hoops as the Steam Deck. It's up for pre-order right now, 699 bucks at Best Buy, and the games can go up to 1080p when you're playing it mobile or up to 4K if you have it docked. Now, if you wanna pre-order, it's linked down below. I'm super stoked about this device. I've made videos about why I think it's gonna be an awesome device and why I'm excited about it. So if you wanna watch that video, it's linked down below. But in today's video, we're gonna go through a Q&A video session that the folks over at ROG Pulse did. Now that's a YouTube and Twitch channel, but those two guys that run it are actually working for Asus directly and they answered a bunch of questions. They've had the device for a long time now. The show's about an hour, but I thought I'd kind of break it down so you didn't have to watch the full hour of it. And I'll go through the questions that they got and the answers that they gave within that video. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, as you know, the ROG Ally is white. You know, and he was asked like, is it gonna be a black edition? He didn't say yes or no, but he basically kind of sounds like there will be a black edition. Um, they said that it's very possible that there will be a black edition. Uh, they did say that the white version is great because it does not leave fingerprints on the device. So I guess it's good news, bad news, but it, it kind of sounds like they're gonna eventually come out with a black edition of the Ally. He talked about an issue where there was some people that already have the device that had sticky buttons. And he said they have fixed that within the factory so that the units that will ship uh, to you folks and to me and you and everyone else on June 13th will not have any sticky button issue that they've rectified that issue and it's done and gone with and it's everything's good to go. Also, some folks that had it already, reviewers and stuff, um, had complained about latency in the joysticks and he said that they're investigating it that investigating it, but they can't replicate that issue with their units or anybody else's units. Sounds dirty, huh? Can you capture footage with a capture card? He said, any USB-C hub with HDMI out into a capture card. The other way is with Wi-Fi 6, or you can use an a a Ethernet port, um, and you can send an NDI signal with OBS on your Ally, and then send that to your PC. Sounds a little bit complicated. It's probably not that bad, but yes, you can capture video if you want with your ally to another PC. Can you dual boot? Someone asked if you can install SteamOS. He said, yes, theoretically you could. Uh, you can install Linux. Um, the issue would be that if you had problems after you install something outside, like if you're dual booting or you're completely uninstalled Windows and you're trying to get another operating system to work that they probably won't support that other operating system if you call technical support and have an issue. So just keep that in mind. Uh, will you be able to download the Armory Crate SE from Asus's website? So Armory Crate is their, their built-in software that allows you to configure the Ally device in a bunch of different ways. And he said, yes, you'll be able to download the Armory Crate SE updates uh, and the software itself directly from the Asus website. Does Asus plan to give strong support to the Ally? He said, yes, most definitely. You'll be getting regular updates on the, the Armory Crate software as with uh, GPU updates from AMD and Windows updates. And he said, just in general, Asus supports their their products for years and years and years. He mentioned at least three years. So it sounds like if I had a guess, you're probably gonna at least, at the very least, get three years of updates. Is the BIOS accessible? He said, yes, uh, secure boot is and can be turned on and off. Boot sounds, like when it boots up, you can turn that those sounds on and off as well. And then just in general, yes, the BIOS is accessible. Can you record gameplay with the Ally? He said, yes, with Windows compatible software. Also, Ally has built-in recording software. Um, so you can take videos and screenshots and you can do that with the Xbox game bar and that's all within the command center. Can the ROG Ally do virtual reality? He said yes. Uh, there's a guy named Blunty that did a video on it already and I think that's amazing because if you love VR and you want to do more VR, this Ally can do it. It's another big selling point. Can you customize how the hardware works on a game by game basis? He said yes. So if like you want one game to be using 
one profile, then another profile and use these buttons and this uh, you know, amount of power. Yes, you can. You can do that all within game profile. Does Armory Crate let you change your game art? So he said, yes. So when you install a game, it'll automatically show the correct artwork for that game. But if you want, you can change it and customize and put whatever you want. Does the ROG Ally have a microphone? He says, yes, it has a built-in microphone. And within Armory Crate SE, which is software, uh, you can take full control of the microphone and control it with all different kinds of modes, like cardioid or stereo. Um, there's also noise cancellation features built into it so that you can block out outside noise as well. Someone asked, will you be working with developers to customize games? So they work specifically for the Ally. He said yes, and there's already games that are already doing it. And then the last question, what improvements are being worked on right now? He said lots of updates but they can't say exactly what. So, you know, there's things that are gonna be added and there's gonna be things that are gonna be fixed continually. So it sounds like all gravy to me. I know no product is perfect. Obviously I would assume when this product comes out, there's gonna be issues with it. There's gonna be problems, but that's pretty much true of anything nowadays. Uh, as you can probably see with any device. So I'm super excited about it. If you want to pick it up and take advantage of it before it gets uh, you know, released, which is June 13 release, you can pre-order it now, right now on Best Buy in the link down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.